Meghan Markle and Prince Harry won't suffer from losing Sussex royal brand because they've been clever in the causes they have supported, marketing expert claims. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle will not suffer as a result of not being able to use the Sussex royal brand because they have been clever in the causes they have supported and the messages they have put out there, an expert has claimed. The Duke, 35, and Duchess, 38, announced they are stepping down as senior members of the royal family and expressed their wish to become financially independent in January. They have since relocated to Canada, with the intention to split their time between the UK and the US. But yesterday the Mail revealed that the Queen, following lengthy and complex talks with senior officials, agreed it was no longer tenable for the couple to keep the word royal in their branding. According to Huddersfield-based personal branding expert Deborah Ogden, this won't prove too problematic for the couple when it comes to making money. With a personal brand, there is no question that they have invested their profile globally and established that, she told Yahoo UK. But it's my belief that a personal brand is more than a logo, so what they would spend time building is a strong reputation and strong profile to support certain causes. They have been clever in the causes they have supported and messages they have put out there. Deborah predicted that Harry and Meghan will lose some value from the Sussex royal brand, but ultimately their fame means they will always be recognized in the UK and American market, and the global markets that recognize the British royal family. I'm not sure taking it away will have a huge impact, she added. The couple have spent tens of thousands of pounds on a new Sussex Royal website to complement their hugely popular Instagram feed. They have also sought to register Sussex Royal as a global trademark for a range of items and activities, including clothing, stationery, books and teaching materials. In addition, they have taken steps to set up a new charitable organization, Sussex Royal, the foundation of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. It has now been made clear that they will need to rebrand. A source told the Mail that, amid what has been described as a complex situation, the fine detail is still being thrashed out. However, it is understood the couple have accepted that, as part of their new working arrangements, they will not be able to use the Sussex royal name as they had hoped. The development is thought to represent a major blow to the Sussexes who now face starting again and re-registering everything from their website to their charity under a new label. Harry and Meghan first began using the Sussex royal branding this time last year, after they split their household from that of the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, known as Kensington Royal. The Sussex's Instagram page, as Sussex Royal, has amassed 11.2 million followers, the same number of fans as William and Kate's account. It was a natural progression. Therefore, for Harry and Meghan to use the moniker for their new charitable foundation, due to be launched this year with the support of Buckingham Palace. And as they secretly prepared for a new life in Canada, it was clear that Sussex Royal was at the forefront of Harry and Meghan's plans. Dozens of trademark applications were made for everything from bandanas to notebooks, although sources have always stressed that these were preventative measures to protect the trademark from others and never intended for commercial use. The couple also privately commissioned a new website. It went live last month to coincide with their bombshell announcement, with the introduction, Welcome to the Sussex Royal Community, your source for information on the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. Zoe Middleton Lyons, senior account manager for branding agency Underscore said rebranding may actually be beneficial for the young royals as it provides a chance to move away from the confines of the brand they were born and married into. With any rebrand there is an initial impact, as people become attached to the original name and perception of that brand, however if the transition is handled correctly their new status and brand will thrive, she said.